decided to put a small wheel together for this just to prove it out. I've had a couple issues with the other one and this is the easiest way for me to prove this. I've got two coils here that I just had laying around and basically I'm stacking transformer laminar plate from a, from a small transformer behind the magnet and that's what it's looking like and then obviously we got a cover that goes over it. Once I get all this done I'll have to balance it obviously but it is pretty hefty adding all this to it but I did want to show you something here now if you look right here on this it's definitely got a great snap to the field it's um, pretty strong so uh, there's definitely a scalar point as you can see right there in between them it's it's being attracted to the scalar point because we got two norths one here and one here and this is generating artificial south that actually it's pretty strong it's stronger than it is with the standard magnets and this is what it used to be and obviously that's really not a safe way to do it it works but you know if any of this cracks then this magnet flies off at high speed because this thing's probably going to be running for 5,000 rpm during these tests I'm running I didn't want to take any chances so I went ahead and built it the way it would be on the large wheel only it's down to scale this is four and three quarters inches across probably close to two pounds now with the steel I added to it so once I get these two done here I'm going to set it up in between these two coils now the way this is designed these can run at 120 volts so you know the little small motors that I charge batteries with there I don't usually run them at 120 volts where this I plan on doing it because I want to use the trigger for another experiment so I want to be able to set this up so I can run this at high speed and then because each one of these is independently triggered I can generate an offset between those spaces so one fires on the top and as that one passes to the halfway point the other one would fire and I want to be able to set that up so they both fire at the same time and they fire at an offset but I wanted you to see this because uh, this is the way the big wheel will be after I run this test I'm pretty confident that there's not going to be any issues with this but I want to run it and I want to run it at a high speed so I can see the result without taking all the effort and time it would take to rework the large wheel 